G'day folks. Well, I just thought it'd be time to give you a look at some of the uh, vintage Calvinator compressors that I have at the moment. I've had these cut open and ready for uh, display or video for quite a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. So here it is finally. This one's out of an old window unit. Uh, it was a heat pump, it's an R22 compressor, but these do run R12 in the older Kelvinators, the 60s Kelvinators. But these were used up from 1950 something up until the late 80s, I think. Uh, same with these, these pancake style compressors. They were used up until the 80s in Kelvinator fridges and similar freezers and things. Normally supposed to stand up upright, but this still has oil in it, so I don't want the oil to go everywhere. I already cut these open probably six months ago. Uh, they are a bit rusty inside because of moisture ingress, but let's open them up and have a look. Fairly heavy steel housing. This is the vertical single cylinder reciprocating aircon compressor. It's got four little inlet tubes into this common inlet manifold. Uh, little fanny thing on the motor. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it's working out. The air coming out of the uh, taped up discharge. Might even try and wire it up and run it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just the unit had no gas in it. Cracked coil or something and leaked out. As you can see you've got the motor, motor rotor, cylinder heads down there with the suction accumulator or suction manifold and a discharge accumulator with a thermal valve on it. If head pressure gets too high that blows off and discharges back into the low pressure side. Uh, usual story with a refrigerant compressor, there's nothing too special about them. The motor's actually made by General Electric, so it could be a standard GE design of that era. And this is the pancake one, which is supposed to stand upright, but it's got oil still in it. Uh, similar sort of style, single cylinder. There's the uh, intake, I think. Yeah, that's a discharge. That'd be an e a discharge oil accumulator or something. Discharge is coming out here. Suction is on the far side, I think. Yeah, we can't see that because it's all in its housing, but... This one's still hooked up to a run cap and everything, so I'll be able to wire that straight up and run it. I'll just drain the oil out and I'll let it rip. Yeah, the oil doesn't look the healthiest, but I know it was a lot less yellow when I opened it up in the first place. It's just got moisture and corrosion in it now. Mind you, it's a high mile compressor. This thing had worked a long time. You can see it's got spring mounts everywhere four springs at the top and one in the very bottom. Designed for low vibration and noise. They do still clatter around a little bit, but that's characteristic of them when you're moving a fridge, you just hear the rattle inside the housing. Try and drain all that oil out. A bit of metal shavings and crap from when I cut it open, but not too much. It's not going to be siphoning oil anyway. I'll just run this thing momentarily. I want to set it up as a display piece anyway. I won't throw this one in the bin. That one there I can get heaps of. Well, I can get heaps of both of them, but I just want to get them out of the way. We'll do that photocopier soon as well. And hopefully get a new camera. I've got some money for a new camera now, so we look forward to that too. Yeah, that is an oil return canister thingy. There's a very fine capillary type line going down there back up into the housing. Kind of interesting. Alright, we're all wired up. Now let's see what this thing can do. I gave it a quick wash out with Carby Cleaner to get the crap out of it and then a bit of a good squirt with Inox. So it shouldn't seize up. Still works. Ew! <laughs> Nasty. Blew its load. I'm guessing that was in the intake manifold or and the discharge manifold. 
Let's stick that there and try again. Just oil and crap. I cut this out of a refrigerator that had the coils and everything torn out of it by an excavator, so there's going to be oil in places that it shouldn't be. gooey, nasty oil crap coming out of the discharge manifold. It'll be all in there. I'll bet you as the excavators cut, torn the fridge apart, the refrigerants tried to exit through the discharge and taken all the oil with it. It's probably been sitting on its side when it was ripped out and all the oil has just got siphoned through the discharge. That's why they spew oil everywhere when you rip them, rip them apart with the machine. Nice and free now though. It was fairly stiff before. We'll get some more uh, inox into those bearings and give it another run. Then we might try this one. Try up in here. Should do it. I don't want to destroy it just yet. I want to keep it as a working display piece. Run pretty good. Run too long without proper oil circulation, they will seize up. It's not warm or anything, but I don't want to test that theory. Although I have on a number of occasions, and it usually takes about five or six minutes before they start to seize up or fry. Oh, that'll make a good display piece. Let's try this one here. All right, hopefully I've got this thing wired up properly. That's if the wiring diagram in my head is right. I haven't really lubricated it yet, so... Uh, there's no oil hole down the guts of it, but... I'll try and find somewhere to get some oil into it. It's been sitting dry for quite a while. Right, that'll help. Good thing is it's all flammable. So if there's any sparks, we'll get fire. So, as I say, fire in the hole. Hmm. There we go. That's working alright. oily thing. Yeah, that was fun. Now I'm covered in refrigerant oil. At least it doesn't smell as bad as that one there. I'm just draining the remainder of the crap out of that. It's working. I don't really have any room to keep these, so I'll probably end up throwing this one out, and that one there I'll find a place for it up and back. And keep it up with the other compressor stuff. Throw out some of the more modern rotary compressor examples and just replace it with something old fashioned. Bit of a shame but ah, what do you do? I get tons of these things. 
so I need one for a demonstration. I'll find another one. Oh, that's the uh, vertical one again. The window unit air, uh, air conditioner compressor. Just before I get rid of it, I figured I'd cut it out of the housing. The two-piece con rod, bolted bottom end and retaining strap. Well made. Fairly big piston too. Piston's about one and a half inches diameter. And strokes about an inch at the most. Yeah, a little oil pipe in there. Going straight into the side of the belt plate actually. Wonder if it's designed to siphon oil through that. It's interesting. Or magnet attached right next to the oil pickup hole in there so it catches all the metallic crap they're a well made compressor that's for sure still a lot of them in service I use one every day as my bedroom air conditioner still got one of these old things rattling away they are a bit loud but they just last the only reason this unit was condemned was because it had a leak in it there's no refrigerant left and coils were too badly rotted out to bother troubleshooting and fixing so I condemned it but they are a very good compressor um, unfortunately I don't make them like this anymore even the cylinder and everything is nice solid cast iron yeah very well made compressor General Electric 240 volts 50 Hertz 